In today's video, we are going to discuss conversion factors. Conversion factors are the most basic, but one of the most critical skills in your math arsenal. You'll use it for chemistry, physics, engineering, pretty much all your higher level sciences. It's also called the factor label method, and it's used to convert from one unit into another within one system like the metric, in another system like the American, or in between any system really. So let's get started and look at some examples. Now in order to use a conversion factor you're basically just taking what you have and multiplying it by what you want. And that's all you really need to know to do these. So let's look at my example here. How many centimeters are on one foot? There's no special formula or special theory needed to do these types of problems. You just need to know how many of one unit fit into another. So here we're given one inch is equal to 2.5 centimeters. And we all know that there's 12 inches in one foot. So some books will show you to do it all in one line, but I find that you kind of get lost doing that. So we'll do it in just several small steps. So here we have one foot and we need to know how many centimeters are in there. Well, we know that there's 2.5 centimeters in one inch, so we'll start there since that's what we're given. So here is what we have, and we'll multiply that by what we want. So we know there are 12 inches in one foot. The feet cancel out. You're left with inches, and you just multiply straight across. As you, as you know from algebra, that's just over one. So we're left with 12 inches. Now we can take that into our next step and find the centimeters, where 12 inches is equivalent to 2.5 centimeters per every inch. Here the inches cancel out, multiply across, and you're left with 30 centimeters. Some of the newer calculators might be able to just take these conversion factors. You can put them in the parentheses and hit enter and get your final answer. So there it is in just two steps. Now in physics it's going to ask you to convert everything and do all your math in meters so it's important to know how to do that. And here we'll turn our 30 centimeters into meters. So we know that for every meter there are 100 centimeters. Just multiply straight across your centimeters cancel out and you're left with 0.3 meters. Now you know that when you do this you're basically dividing 30 by 100 so you can divide 30 by 100 or you know to just move this over to decimal places to divide by 100 but that's for another video now considering how we set this up you can tell that these three answers here whoops, are actually all equivalent if you look at our answers, we have 1 foot is equal to 12 inches, is equal to 30 centimeters, is equal to 0.3 meters. And you could substitute any of these values in for your work, although for physics it's going to ask you for everything in meters. So once you get enough practice, you'll just be able to convert everything to meters right in your head. So we'll look at another example that I made up here to give you more of a idea on how the application works. So suppose Godzilla is attacking Tokyo City. <coughs> You're reading an article that describes Godzilla's tail being a whole kilometer long. So here's his tail, and that tail measures exactly one kilometer. Now being an American, we kind of have trouble picturing exactly how a kilometer is since we don't really have to use the metric system. So if you're looking at that and wondering what a kilometer actually looks like, you can just do the conversion factor. We already know f that one foot is equal to 0.3 meters, but that doesn't really help us here. So we know that one kilometer is compiled of 1,000 meters. So we'll start there and convert meters to feet. So here our meters cancel out and we're left with a thousand meters. Now to convert that to feet, you have to either look it up on a table or Google it. Eventually this you'll just have this in your head. One meter is equal to 3.2808 feet. Now that's a lot of decimals. You could round it off to 3.3. And here your meters cancel out. 
multiply straight across, and that gives you 3,280 and 8 tenths of a foot. Let me just round that off to 3,300 feet. And that should give you an idea of about what a kilometer looks like. Now, this will come with practice, and soon you'll have the most common conversions just stored in your memory from doing them over and over again through tons of problems. Your most common is going to be converting time into seconds, like days, weeks, and months. When you do these conversions for problems like orbits around the sun of planets or planes flying in motion, you'll need to convert all that time into seconds. So that sort of stuff you'll just have in your memory. You'll also need to convert many different lengths into meters. So practice doing that. You can sort of compare your answers, answers to what Google will give you or just what the tables have. Now in conclusion, I hope this video was helpful to you. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and remember to learn it, do it, and teach it.